Hello, it's Amanda from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network. Today I'm going to show you how I edit a shiny forehead with the clone tool. In a future video, we'll also show you how to use this exact same technique to edit the dark circles from under a subject's eyes. So we're going to get started. So here we have a picture of our model Mona, and we've used a little dodge tool to make the shine on her forehead more prominent so that I can show you how to do this edit. So the first thing we need to do is grab the clone tool from the toolbar. Then we're going to make some adjustments to the tool's menu bar up here. When you're doing facial edits, the trick is to be very soft and subtle. We want a very soft edged brush so it blends well, so we're going to come up here and set the brush hardness all the way to 0%. Next, we're going to change the Clone Tools blending mode. There's all of these modes inside this menu here, and they change the way that the Clone Tool can be applied on top of an image. It's worth playing around with them just to see what they do. But today, we're covering a shiny highlight on her forehead, so we're going to choose Darken. And lastly, to keep the edit even more subtle, we're going to lower the Clone Tool's opacity right here to about 50%. So this is going to keep the brush transparent so that we can build up layers of our edit. Also, the light in the edit is coming from the top down, so we don't want this to get too dark or it's going to start to look fake. You want to keep the direction of light the way that it is initially. So now we're going to zoom in on the shiny spot here. Now the clone tool makes an exact replica of whatever you tell it to sample, and you have to hold down the Option key or the Alt key and then click to get that bullseye and then that's going to be what's what's sampled. And you can see the preview here inside the clone tool itself. Um, it, it at least previews in CS6. So we're just going to paint this on and you can see it's just a nice soft... Because the clone tool makes an exact replica, you want to match the shades as best you can. And you may need to keep moving your sample location as you paint. It's fairly simple, and the big soft brush keeps you from making any, you know, giant mistakes. Um, most of the work in this edit comes from setting up the brush tool correctly in the first place. And you can see we're pretty, pretty well covered. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something today, and be sure to check out the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or visiting our resource library and blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the IDO Photographer Network at www.idophotonaut.com.